Hello Youtubers, Alex here from IT Lectures. Uh, today I've decided to show you a neat uh, little animation that I coded in Delphi 7. I'm going to run it now so you can see what it does. So basically it's supposed to represent uh, stars in the sky. There are exactly 500 stars at any time. And uh, now I'm going to show you the code that uh, does this. The code, alright. First, uh, I define the uh, uh, global constant, that's n, and uh, it denotes the number of stars. I set it to 500. Next, I define a few variables, global variables, of course. First one is f. Uh, it can take on values true or false. Next is i, and uh, i uh, will uh, represent the index of the star we are working with at uh, any given time. So the next thing I made is uh, an array of uh, record of uh, star. The variables in the record are features of the star. We have speed, the angle alpha, radius, old radius, and old alpha. And they are all real values. Let's go to the main function now. First thing I do is uh, expand uh, the image that uh, I'm working with to cover the entire canvas. Next thing I do with the following two lines of code is uh, completely color the canvas uh, to be black. And next thing I do is uh, say, all right, f receives the value of true. It's going to be important uh, when uh, looping below. First, we call a procedure initiate values. This procedure is nothing special. All this function does pretty much is assign the random numbers to variables. So uh, I'm going to go through what uh, each uh, variable or as I put it before feature represents. Alpha represents uh, the angle in respect to the horizontal axis. Radius uh, represents uh, the distance between the current position of the star and the center of the canvas. And the speed represents the number of uh, degrees that the star travels in uh, one loop. Let's go further in uh, this repeat loop. So I say, alright, repeat until f receives the value of false. And that will only happen when I press the button to stop. Now the first uh, function I call in this uh, repeat loop is uh, compute new values. And uh, here's the function. This function loops through all the stars and computes new values of its features. So first we store the current uh, angle alpha and radius into features alpha old and radius old. You're gonna see later why this is important. Next we compute uh, the new uh, angle alpha by adding uh, to the old angle uh, the current speed. Next we compute a new radius by uh, adding uh, the speed divided by 2. Mm, why is it divided by 2? Because we don't uh, want the radius to expand rapidly, we want it to kind of spread a bit slowly. All of these numbers that uh, I've set uh, aren't that important by themselves uh, and you can play around with them and get uh, different results, but uh, these are the numbers that uh, look best for me. Next thing we do is uh, ask, uh, well basically, ask if the star has left the canvas. And if it has, we assign new random values to it. Basically bringing it close to the center. The next function we call is display new image. This function is nothing special. It loops over all stars and computes the positions of uh, each star. Then it uh, changes the color of that pixel to white. Next function is uh, restore all pixels. So basically uh, what we do here is uh, we look over all the stars and for each star we compute first the old position 
and then uh, we compute uh, the new positions and uh, if uh, the old position differs from the new position then uh, we set uh, the all position uh, pixel to be color black again. Otherwise, uh, we would uh, leave trails uh, of uh, white wherever any star passes. So that's the job of this function is to delete that trail, basically. These two lines uh, stop the looping for uh, one millisecond and then it continues. And uh, that's pretty much everything uh, that's happening here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you for listening.